Hey everyone, it's been a while, but the Route 4 light is finally done, and let's talk about it. So you join me a little bit later on. Um, in the last episode, you saw me do the wiring or start to finish off the wiring, and a lot of time's passed since then. It's not a project that I've forgotten about, it's a set in the wings ready to be completed as I've been focusing on the uh, root controller that you can see here. Um, if you want to know a bit more information about that specifically, there's another video that will pop up in the top right hand corner now that you can click on and go and check it out. But in essence, it's a fully isolated CNC controller running Gerbil, well, Fluid NC. So yeah, definitely check that video out. Um, you might be looking at this electronics and going, car that looks a bit OTT or over the top for this um, little CNC machine. Whilst, yeah, you're correct. Um, these are very similar to the stepper motors I use on my uh, Route 4, my big machine, uh, and I'm more than capable of driving larger motors. Um, it's a perfect demonstration to show off the controller in action, using some external drivers with some overkill uh, electronics, running this nice, cute, tiny CNC machine. Um, so. We'll do a couple of test cuts, see how they perform, uh, and genuinely show off the machine. Um, I think it'll be quite good fun. So at the moment, I've only just done test moves with it, and in this video, I'm gonna try and go through a couple of bits of material, cut out some logos, and just see what it can and can't do, all running off that controller. Um, so my plan is, to just use the controller in USB mode. I'm not gonna to touch on any of the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth functionality of it, um, just so I can quickly rapid prototype and try things out. A um, Couple of things that are different from the previous video was down here. Uh, at the time, um, Gerbil um, ESP32, what is now Fluid NC, didn't support um, offsets on end stops but they now do so I had this little mechanism here that would um, adjust this axis so I could do the auto square uh, now it can all be done in software and I will upload another video shortly showing off how I do the auto square function uh, and work out how far for example this um, screw needs to be or the offset in software what value needs to be set there um, I've written a little program that helps me work there out and it does it generates a little bit of test G code that you run, measure it, put that figure back into the software and it tells you what the offset correction should be. Very handy, but probably outside the scope of this video. I'll cover that at another point. If you're interested, there will be a link in the description below where you can go and check it out on GitHub. Uh, what else have we done? What might be a bit different? Um, wiring's all the same. Um, spindles the same, everything's the same. Um, there has been a minor update to the uh, Z, um, I don't know what you call it, this, this plate here, just to put a bit more plastic around this uh, bearing idler. I've managed to snap it off a couple of times, so check out the updated version in the GitHub. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a new cool little button, illuminated button and probe point. Uh, that's quite handy to, to do stuff. This is software configurable, but I've got this to set up a set it up as a macro start and hold, and also my probe points. All the end stops are working, uh, and here's the external drivers and single power supply. The VFD is controlled via uh, RS485 directly to the controller, so we don't actually have to touch this control panel. It's off at the moment because it makes too much noise to make a video, but uh, yeah, here's the side of it. And I've also made a wasteboard um, that I CNC'd probably half an hour ago on the big machine. All right, I'm gonna do some test cuts. I'll film it and I'll show you the results. Just so you know, these two that you see here weren't actually done on this machine. Uh, that was me testing cutting acrylic on the Route 4. It's just that I've got this material left over, but this is genuinely the first cut I'm gonna do on the Route 4 light.
Right, this is take two, and hopefully I've got that set to zero, zero on X and Y, and the Z height's already done from when we last did it. So you'll notice that won't be touching the VFD, it's just gonna start the spindle and do the job. One thing, I'm gonna slow the speed down so it doesn't chatter. I think looking at that, I was probably, it looks good. I'm happy, with, I'm certainly happy. I think this edge will buff up quite nicely on a uh, polishing wheel, no problem. I think the um, inside edges look very nice. I think it will definitely benefit from a uh, cleanup pass. Uh, I was probably a bit too aggressive on the depth of cut, but I think given that, I don't know how long that took, a minute or so, not long. That's bloody brilliant. Right, now let's try something a bit more challenging. Shall we uh, try dive on? Try and remember to uh, set your reference point properly. I had it from the last job we just did. Take two. I think uh, the uh, tape I use it down has left some gooey residue uh, and it's just the swarf is just sticking to the, to the inside. Uh, see actually when I clean it up it doesn't look too, you see the little bit I've just tied it up? So I think it's just, it's just gummy from where the uh, tape is, yeah. So I've just gone in the house with uh, some acetone and cleaned up the edges and as you can see they've come up rather nice. I've not done any polishing or sanding on this. This is straight off the machine and all I've done, a bit of acetone to, to dissolve the glue and it's left us with this finish you see here. See if we can get that. I don't think it's bad. Not from this size, uh, size machine anyway. Um, things I learned. Um, clearly these were just a initial trial run. I haven't dialed in any settings at all. Um, so there is some improvements. Uh, you saw some, uh, unfortunately this screw came loose. So, um, you know, teething problems, but nothing major. But I think it's been a great success to see that we've got a bit of dye bond. That is uh, some acrylic with uh, aluminium uh, sandwich some nice acrylic as well and some aluminium. I was gonna do some wood in this video, but I think it's kind of showing that I've done a nice score in the wasteboard and it's done aluminium. So it's more than likely to do wood with no issues. Um, I think this concludes the build of the Route 4 light. Please check the video descriptions out where you can download and print this yourself uh, completely free. And if you want to know more about the Route Controller, again, check out the video description for links below. 
and then yeah I think this is going to have a few more upgrades such as the dust shoe being finished off so we can get the vacuum on for the purpose of the video didn't need it but yeah I think it's been brilliant I mean, you make a bottle opener, it will be rude not to open a bottle, right? Cheers, guys.